Welcome to video tutorials of Mikanis Miller. Your continuing support keeps us going. We appreciate your subscriptions and rating our videos. I have been interested with machines and mechanisms since childhood, but nothing seems comparable to steam locomotive. Whenever I saw a steam locomotive, I watched it with a joy. I always wondered why it was the steam engine that interested me so much. I came to the conclusion that, the steam engine is the only transportation mechanism which is transparent. It is transparent in the sense that all the working parts of the steam engine are visible to you. As far as I know there are no other machine public can see has this characteristics. Sure, electric or diesel locomotives are impressive, but you don't see the working parts. Huge airplanes and ships impress us with their size, but not the way it impresses us like a steam locomotive. We can see the inner working of a machine in a steam engine, but not in the others. This video will show you the linkage components of a Hudson type steam locomotive. These locomotives were equipped with a valve system called Walsh Ertz valve gear. There are many valve gear system and the Walsh Ertz valve gear is one of them. It is invented by Belgian railway mechanical engineer Egide Walsh Ertz in 1844. The Walsh Ertz valve gear was slow to gain popularity. The Stevenson valve gear remained the most commonly used valve gear on 19th century locomotives. However, the Walsh Ertz valve gear had the advantage that it could be mounted entirely on the outside of the locomotives, leaving the space between the frames clear, which resulted in it being adopted in some articulated locomotives. Let me first highlight how the linkage component of this valve system with colored linkages. As you can see, this is a complex but beautiful linkage system where everything works in harmony. Allow me to hide the image of the locomotive, so that we concentrate our attention on the linkage system. Here we can see the motion of piston and piston rod, where red color represents hot compressed steam, while the bluish color represents low pressure steam. Here are the names of the components of the linkage system in turn. Main rod. Fly crank rod. Union link. Combination lever. Lifting link. Lifting arm. Reverse arm. Reach rod. Radius rod Side rod Fly crank Expansion link Cross head Here the piston rod, main rod and driving gear make a slider crank mechanism which powers the locomotive. The rest of the linkages are used to regulate the speed and change the direction of motion of the locomotive. As you can see how direction of the locomotive motion changes by pushing and pulling the reach rod. Also notice that how the reciprocation motion of piston valve is reduced when reach rod approaches to natural position. We encourage you to subscribe to our channel and rate our videos. Your support is very important to us.